That means this is me, this is Jane. I became a vegetarian when I read Peter Singer's book, Animal Liberation, because I had absolutely no notion of a factory farm. The next time I looked at a piece of meat on my plate, and this was the late 60s, I thought, this piece of meat is symbolic of fear, pain, death. Who wants to eat fear, pain, and death? I didn't. That was the last time I touched meat. Well, it might be now, but I've always said it's not ethically right. I'm thinking of the thousands of monkeys and using them in this way to create vaccines. If they were treated nicely, but they're not, they're in these tiny little cages. They know nothing but fear. They've been snatched from the wild, or at least snatched from their mothers. If we feel it's necessary to use an animal, at least for now, then treat the animal kindly and respectfully and give thanks like the indigenous people give thanks to the animal when they kill it to eat it. In some places, heavy industry stopped for a while because of lockdown. And some people probably for the first time in their lives, like in the big, big cities, for the first time, they knew clean air. They could look up without looking through smog to see the stars at night. And some people for the first time could hear the bird song around them. It's helped us to understand that it's really our fault. We brought it on ourselves to a very large extent because of this disrespect of animals and nature. It's necessary to have a different relationship with the natural world and a different kind of more sustainable, greener economy. I always tell students, animal intelligence is an incredible field, full of opportunities, full of new discoveries waiting to be un unraveled. And it's, it's really, really the most exciting time for learning new things about animals in my lifetime, new things about the oceans, new tools that enable us to go deep under the ocean, up in the forest canopy, 